do a little change up today. Instead of going for bass, I'm going to try for some crappies. I caught a nice trout that you saw earlier. And I'm using the Jason's Crawdads. I guess you call it a little, a little bug. I'm not quite sure the name of it. I'll get you on a, I'll put it down in my comments. And I got it hooked up with a little road runner there with a the little blade. And I got my imp rod, Berkeley imp rod, 6.6, uh, six, uh, medium spinning ultralight. Of course, I got my Cast King Melee 3000 reels, spooled with the Cast King monofilament line, four pound test. It's a little windy today, but the sun's out. Temperatures are mild. Caught a couple bass and spinner baits, uh, crawl that's fishing tackle spinner baits. And now we're gonna see if we can do. And I also just discovered like a little tutorial to show you how I'm fishing this. Basically, I'm fishing outside weed line on a flat. Uh, hopefully these crappies will be moving up. I saw a few getting caught, so I figured I'd give, them a, give myself a try. And uh, basically what I'm doing is just throwing it out, casting it out. And with that road runner, you let it sink, because I'm fishing about five, six feet of water. Let it sink a little bit, and then just lift up the rod tip a little bit, and just barely reel it in, and give it up oh, with some weeds. And then you feel the weeds, just pick up the speed a little bit, jig the rod tip and just have that steady retrieve all the way back and if these fish are active enough they'll grab it i've been catching a little bass too also little baby bass just downsizing everything folks it's a little windy here don't mind the rocking and uh like i said just cast it out just reel in nice and slow the water's murky here so i got that chartreuse that chartreuse head there so give it a little bit of luminescent under the water cast it out you don't have to make long casts because the wind's blowing and you don't want that big bow in your line you want to be able to have control so you just reel it in so like if you're throwing a little beetle spin or something like that a little tiny spinning bait and you just work it back slowly slowly you feel you tick off those beads and you just give it a little jiggle the water Water's warming up, uh, warming up, so fish are becoming a little more active. The bass are up against the banks now; they're they're cruising the shorelines, and uh, I figure I give them a break because uh, my freeze my freezer is empty, and I, and I love crappies. I'm sure a lot of my a lot of you sports fans love love crappies too. Let's see if we can get one on camera. So like I'm saying, just reeling it real slow, give it a little pumps once in a while, let it sink on a slack line, but yet taunt so you can control and you can feel that hit. And kind of like just fan casting everywhere. The weeds are all around me. And believe me, they will grab it. Panfish are more, more active now, more aggressive than the, than the bass. It's a... Uh, it's May now, the beginning of May, and uh, traditionally, in traditionally in Connecticut, these bass will lock on beds on the, the first new moon of this month. Um, and of course, I don't. That's when I'll totally go over to uh, switch over to crappies and and uh, panfish. Hopefully, I can get a walleye. Uh, I've had some bad luck this year with walleye, folks, sports fans. Uh, last year I had some nice beauties and this year I, I hooked on to a few nice beauties that I didn't get to the boat. <laughs> but it's too early yet in Connecticut and I'm still confident that at least I'm going to bang a few before uh, we head into the summer months and these walleyes head off into deeper water. Everything's working their way up shallow right now folks. So like I said, just cast it out, get it nice and slow back, take those weeds, and spread your cast around, and uh, hopefully you'll be rewarded. Um, the Lord has blessed us with another beautiful day. Connecticut's really trying, really struggling weather-wise. This is, I guess you could call this the best day out of the week. We'll call for more heavy rains and cold weather, so 
these fish really want to do what they want to do. They want to spawn, they want to get excited. And we need some consistently warm weather here in Connecticut to, uh, to get these fish going. And it's going to happen. And I expect all you sports fans out there, all my fellow anglers, to get out there and enjoy the great outdoors. with the, the weight of this uh, course uh, I forgot to mention is uh, 8 pounds usually I would go with 16 pounds or something like that a little lighter but with this wind blowing you want something that will get down a little bit deeper and a little bit more control alright sports fans I hope this tutorial about fishing little grubs, little jigs this little spider I guess you call it spider. It looks like a, a helgramite of some sort. I'm sure I'll, I'll post down what exactly what it is from Jason's Crawdad's fishing tackle. My man there, Jason, he does everything. He's making some senkos for me. He's got the, you got to check out the website. And uh, like I said, he does panfish. He's from Michigan. He knows everything about walleyes, crappies, bass. And uh, check him out. That's crossing. That's a uh, crawdad's fishing tackle. And also shout out to uh, Tackle Supply Depot. These guys are great down there too. And uh, Dave over there with Fine Crew. And uh, if you find yourself in the area or their eBay stores on the, they have an eBay store or you can check the website, www.tacklesupplydepot.com. And also Cast King. Shout out to Cast King, great guys. Give me apparel. Uh, great prices on their reels and excellent products. All right, sports fans, God bless, and as always, God bless my fellow anglers.